Hello everyone, welcome to 3dDesignAcademy.com. In this lesson, I'm going to show you guys the new construction types within Surface Filler Tool and how to use them. So in alias 2023.1 and later, um, Autodesk added two new construction types within the Surface Filler Tool, and those are existing theoretical and build theoretical. Now they are very similar to the quarter fillet, but how it's constructed and how they set up the tangent lines is a little bit different. So let me show you guys how they are used. So with the quarter fillet, I'm just going to set it to about 50 over here for the quarter length of form factor, I'm going to set it to one. What happens is if you have two surfaces like this within a very, uh, quite a varying set of acceleration, as you can see, this has a lot of acceleration and a lot of curvature, and this one is very flat. And as you can see, because it takes a curvature of the surfaces into consideration, it builds a surface like this. Oh, actually, I should change this to G2. Now, if you look at the tangent line or the distance to the theoretical, you'll see that this one is a very uh, small, while this one is a very large. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the second example. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take existing theoretical over here. I'm just going to build a fillet between that. And you'll see that there's quite a lot of difference between this one and this one. Because what this one does is it takes the distance from the theoretical and puts it in equal distance of the two surfaces. So the tangent length from the theoretical is about equal. So if I were to just measure this one using curve to curve like this, it's about, well, looks like it's about 25.3. And let's go ahead and measure the other one. Looks like this is actually a perfectly equal 25.3482 to both sides. This one is of course very different. So from one side to the other, it looks like it's about 10.5, while this one to this one is about 40.1. So as you can see, there is a big difference. And there are a lot of usages where this uh, this comes in very handy because it's essentially taking a, well, it's essentially doing a tubular offset and creating the surface fillet with, uh, with it. Now, that said, what is the difference between an existing theoretical and the build theoretical? Well, right now, if you look at the surface over here, there is a defined theoretical, but if you were to put a slight gap between the two like this, so that the theoretical doesn't exist. If I were to use the same existing theoretical between these two surfaces, it's not going to build. But if you switch it to a build theoretical, it's going to automatically build a theoretical based on the two surfaces and it will build. Um, actually it looks like it doesn't. So let me actually cross the surfaces like this. Maybe that might provide a little bit better example. So I'm just going to do the same thing over here, but I cross them. So right now the defined theoretical doesn't exist. So if I were to do an existing theoretical, it's not going to build. But if I were to do a build theoretical like this, it actually builds. So those are the differences between existing theoretical and build theoretical, but how they build the surface and how they determine the, uh, the tangent lines are very similar. All right, so that actually brings me up to the second example. So what, are, what am I actually going to use this for? So let me just put all of these surfaces over here. I'm just going to turn on example surface like this. So you'll see that there is a surface going like this and it's nicely merging into a single surface over here. And if I were to build a quarter fillet based on that, well, let's let's give it a try. So I'm just going to say, well, I don't know if 10 is a good size, but let's give it a shot. Okay. And uh, well, maybe I'll just do a quarter of 20. Okay, so I think that shows, uh, that's probably a little bit better example. With the regular quarter fillet, the problem when you uh, the problem that you encounter when you're building a fillet, especially when they're merged together, is that the fillet tends to do something like this. It's, it becomes a little bit funky, as it essentially becomes curvature between the two surfaces. Now, with the quarter fillet, however, uh, with oh not the quarter fillet, but with the existing theoretical or build theoretical is it essentially uh, does a tubular offset to, to the uh, either uh, either side so it actually really builds uh, it builds a really clean fillet so let me just change it to existing theoretical and watch what happens to the surface so if i were to update it like this and it builds it 
very cleanly like this. Now, sometimes it's not perfect, but it's a much better example compared to the previous one. And it builds a super nice clean uh, tangent line from here to here. And well, it's a single span surface and that's be builds it beautifully. So that is one of the, I guess, the practical application of existing theoretical and build theoretical. All right, so that is how to use the new construction types within the Surface Filler tool. Thank you guys for watching and see you next time. Want to learn Autodesk Alias and digital sculpting? Then become a member at 3ddesignacademy.com where you'll find hundreds of video tutorials ranging from basics, including curve creations, intermediate level tutorials such as this wheel, all the way to class A modeling of the entire car exterior. Interested? Visit 3ddesignacademy.com.